Well, I was, we went offshore fishing uh, back in July last year. And uh, just like always, we come back and clean the boat, clean the fish. And I was uh, cleaning the boat and it was full of soap and all. And I was standing on the top deck and whenever I went to step down to get to the bottom deck, I slipped and fell right on my back on one of the rod boxes that made like a little, a little uh, turn and it just hit me in the wrong spot. He lost feeling instantly, so um, I immediately got to him. He was about an hour away from me. Um, when I got there, he was laying on the floor of the boat, couldn't feel from his waist down. Went to surgery the next day. He had spinal cord compression at T10. Very emotional roller coaster. Nobody could give us any answers, you know. Um, I didn't expect to not realize that even though he was just compressed, he may not walk again. Um, no one could ever tell us that. Initially, they classified him as an Asia A, and only 3% of Asia A's regain function. Randomly, we were tucking him in one night, and um, he wiggled a toe. And that was a huge sigh of relief, just a toe wiggle. A nurse practitioner I work with said, hey, Ashley, she said, um, I follow this guy I went to LSU with on social media still. He's starting this red light therapy. He's like, she's like, I really think you should look into it. Heard about Dr. Kyle and said, I don't have anything to lose, so. Called thinking it would take us several months to get in, not realizing that they would be able to see us two weeks after discharge. So we left Turo August 30th, and I think we started here September 12th. So we weren't even adjusted to life at home as a paraplegic yet before we got here. And now coming back, he can pretty much get himself in the bed. We stay in the same room, same hotel every time we come and just to see the difference of maneuvering in the hotel even is just huge for us. He and his staff both took us in under their wings and they've become family to us. We look forward to coming back. We leave here feeling refreshed, renewed, a glimmer of hope. Um, never once did he tell us that Walking was not an option. He was actually the first one to tell us that he would walk our little girl down the aisle again. Um, he's been a blessing to us. And uh, the knowledge he has on nerves and spinal cord and everything has just blew us away. Like I was very skeptical at first. I work in the medical field and I was very skeptical. But after just meeting with him, that initial consult, all my worries, all my fears just went away. And then after about, I'd say about a week, I just noticed like I was able to move my legs a lot easier, the strength and all in it. And it just it could really tell a difference. It's unbelievable. It really is. And until you see it, you don't understand. When we talk about coming to Lake Charles and therapy at home, mm -hmm. people think we're crazy. You know, Stupid. coming here and doing therapy at home, um, I, I have it in my head that as, uh, I will walk again one day, whether it takes another year or two or have a long, but I know it's gonna be a long road, but fully feel I'll be there one day.